Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am excited because summer is finally here. Around summertime, I always get a lot of requests for like an easy summer, like dewy, natural makeup tutorial. But you guys know I'm a full coverage queen, so <laughs> things get a little full coverage sometimes. Anyway, I'm just gonna jump right to it. I'm gonna be using a lot of new products that I haven't used before. I'm gonna start off with this Tatcha Gold Camellia Beauty Oil. She's brand spanking new. She looks like a lot. Tatcha kills it with the packaging. I love how expensive everything feels. There's some really nice weight to the product. This is basically a beauty oil, and if you guys can see, it has 23 karat gold flex in here. Just makes it extra fancy. Hmm. Just gonna take a little on my hand, a few little drops of this. And I'm just gonna kind of like press it onto my skin. Beauty oils are really, really great because they just really penetrate the skin. They give your skin some really nice hydration. If you are extremely dry, oils are great for you. If you're someone that's really oily, uh, I also recommend oils because a lot of the times we get really oily due to a lack of hydration. So now your face should be looking something like this. I'm also gonna apply this MAC Strobe Cream. This is in the shade Gold Light. I love this product. I've used this product pretty often in past videos. I just really love what it does for my skin as far as like just giving my skin a really beautiful like golden glow before my makeup. And since I want my makeup to look extra dewy and luminous, this will just kind of keep that whole vibe going throughout my makeup. And I literally put this all over my face. Should be looking something like that. Moving on to foundation, as promised, I'm not gonna use my RCMA cream foundation. I'm actually gonna use, for the very first time, this MAC Next to Nothing Face Color. So when I did my research on this foundation, it's kind of more of a, kind of like a tinted moisturizer, if you will. It's meant to look really, really sheer, really, really skin-like, but according to kind of how you apply it and how much of it you use, you can actually get some really nice coverage. So I'm gonna give it this baby a go, and I'm hoping that I feel good. I'm gonna use the shade Medium Plus, and I'm just gonna pump a little bit on the back of my hand. And I'm just gonna take my handy dandy beauty blender and just start to stipple it on my skin. This quote unquote foundation does not have an SPF. So if you are gonna be out in the sun, if you're gonna be like chilling by the pool, I definitely recommend that you apply an SPF before you apply your foundation. I'm not really going anywhere today that I'm gonna be out in the sun, so. I just didn't put any on, but if you're gonna be poolside pimping, make sure you have some sunscreen. I'm a little shook that I'm not using my RCMA cream foundation, but I promise you guys that I will start to incorporate different types of foundations in my videos. Hey guys, so unfortunately I didn't realize that the battery pack on my mic had died during this portion of the video, but no worries, I figured I would just do a voiceover. All I'm doing is applying my usual shape tape in the shade medium, setting it with my go-to RCMA no color powder, and in this video I decided to use my KKW Beauty contour sticks in the shade medium. I also tend to get very oily on my nose, so I'm also gonna take some of that translucent powder and just kind of stipple on my nose because I want that area to stay very under control as far as my oils go. And gonna do the same thing with my forehead. To set my bronzer, I'm gonna use my Hoola bronzer from Benefit. This is a staple classic. I like it because it's not too warm, it's not too taupey, ashy, it's just like a really good bronzing shade. I'm just gonna pick up some of this Hoola with a fluffy brush. This is a Sonia Kashuk brush, you guys. Um, I've had this brush for a while. I can't seem to let it go, I'm so obsessed with it. And with kind of setting my cream contour, I might be just almost gonna kind of like press and pat. All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna move on to my brows. I'm just gonna start off with a spoolie and brush through my brows. Again, I wanna keep my brows nice and soft, nothing too harsh, so I'm gonna go in with this Benefit Give Me Brow, and this is in the shade number five. I love how tiny this brush is because you're really able to kind of work it through your brows, 
and it has fibers that just really make your brow look a lot more fuller. So I'm literally just working this through my entire brow. I just realized I didn't put on anything on my lips and they're feeling really dry. So I'm gonna go in with my Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer because nobody wants a chapped lip for the summer. So much better, oh my gosh. Okay, back to my brow. I'm gonna go in with a brow powder. This is from MAC. This is the Brow Duo in the shade Brunette. And I'm just gonna use this lighter shade. And again, I'm not gonna add too much definition. I just wanna lightly add a little bit where my brows are a little bit more sparse. So for me, it's kind of just more right in this area where it kind of starts to arch just a little bit. It'll just give it a little bit more body. But we're definitely not gonna like clean up with a concealer and make it all like super dramatic. For my eyes today, I'm gonna be using this Colored Rain Queen of Hearts eyeshadow palette. I've used this before. If you watched my collab video that I did with Laura Lee, this is what I used on her eyes. If you didn't watch the video, go to Laura Lee's channel and watch it because it's really good. I love this eyeshadow palette because the colors are so beautiful. I think these are perfect for summer. And the pigment on these babies is so bomb. I'm gonna go in with some of the more neutral shades because again, I'm not trying to do too much. I'm gonna go in with the shade called Royal Prerogative. And I'm going in with this Inglot 6SS brush. And I'm not really going to place a base on my eyelids because again, I just want everything to look really, really natural. So I'm just gonna kind of just buff it on my skin and just kind of see what that does. And I'm just taking this all over my crease. When I want my eyeshadow to look a little more natural, I like to just kind of place it over my skin without a base because it kind of just melts into the skin a little bit better. It almost looks like second skin. Done, quick, easy, in the crease, buffed out beautifully. Moving on. So you guys know how we all have that one friend that wears like a full face of makeup to go to the beach or the pool? I'm that friend. I don't know if you guys have ever been to Las Vegas. If you haven't, I am obsessed and I'm so excited because I'm actually gonna be spending my birthday in Vegas. I have like this huge situation happening, like full blown itinerary because you know I'm extra. Uh, let me know in my comments if you guys think that I should do like a birthday vlog of me in Vegas. But anyway, uh, the reason that I'm talking about Vegas is because obviously Vegas is very much known for like pool parties. And you know, I just think it's so funny when I go to these Vegas pool parties and I literally show up like, fully beat and it's literally like 110 degrees and I'm like sweating and it's like hot, but I'm just like <laughs> blotting, keep it together, doing it for the gram. So if that's you, just know you're not alone. I'm gonna take that same exact shade with more of a pencil brush and run this underneath my lash line. I don't know about you guys, but I always feel like you need some type of shadow or something underneath your lash line because if not, it just looks a little incomplete. That's just my opinion. Then really simple, really quick, really easy. I'm just going to take that same buffing brush that I was using in my crease. I'm gonna spray her with a little Fix Plus. And I'm gonna pick up this shade called Your Majesty. She's this beautiful coppery bronze shade right in here. And I'm lightly just gonna sweep it on my lid just to give it a little just a little, just a little shine. Nothing too crazy. As you guys know, with packing on colors on your lid, a more dense brush will kind of make that color more pronounced. But since I'm using more of a fluffy blending brush for this, the application is just a little bit softer. But if you use this with like a really dense brush, it's like 10 times more intense. And again, I'm not using a primer on my eyes. This is all on my lid alone. Gorge. All right. There's really no fallout, so we're good on that. So for my lashes, I want my lashes to look really, really natural, very, very like they belong to me. So I'm gonna take it a little old school and I'm gonna use these creme wispy lashes. These are the lashes that I would literally go to like downtown LA and buy like a ton of and I would use these when I would do like um, big bridal parties and stuff like that. So these take me back. 
The lash band on these are so thin. Obviously with like the more dramatic lashes, you need a thicker band because there's more of a lash. So we're just gonna rely on a lot of mascara to kind of make these look a little bit more dramatic. I'm so not used to wearing something so natural. And the crazy part is that this is like very extra for some people. And this to me is like not enough. All right, before I add some mascara and curl them some more, I'm gonna just let them set and dry. For my highlight today, I'm gonna be going in with this NARS highlighting trio. Look at how beautiful this is. This packaging, NARS just always just gives it to me so good. It matches my eyes. Look at how stunning this is. I'm gonna be going in with these two right in here. The one in the middle is called Sail, and this one, if I'm saying it right, is in bronze. So I'm gonna kind of use a combination of both. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus before I apply the highlighter. Just using a combination of these two. Oh, this is so pretty. I really like this end shade a lot. It gives it like a very skin-like tone. Like it's kind of like a good neutral. It's not like too pearly or too golden. It's really, really, really beautiful. Also gonna apply a little bit up here. You guys already know. I love how this is supposed to be a natural, natural look. Hey, it's natural for me. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of my shape tape, just a tiny, teensy bit. I'm actually just gonna do a little dot on my hand and pick it up with a brush, just to kind of give my nose a little highlight. You guys already know, my JD Weighty 180 contour brush. Gonna pick up a little bit of that hula, just a little bit, and lightly just kind of contour the sides. And with this lighter shade in here, gonna highlight my nose. I kind of just want to highlight the tip. I kind of don't want to highlight down the entire bridge. I'm also going to take a little bit of this right on the inner corner parts of my eye, just for a little pop. And this is a NYX blending brush, 16. And I'm also really lightly going to just hit the brow bone. For my lips today, I'm going to be using a couple of new products. This is the new NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment, which is just basically their version of a liquid lip packaging bomb. This is the shade Get It On. It's a really pretty nude. Super pigmented. That was literally just one swipe. I don't even know if I need any more. I don't think I do. I'm just gonna align my lips with my ColourPop and I love Sarai Lippy Stick and this is in the shade Curvy. It's just for a little extra definition. And for my gloss, I'm gonna be using the new Jouer Cosmetics Pigmented Lip Glosses, and this is in the shade PCH. It's a beautiful nude. These colors complement each other so well. All right, awesome. So gonna finish the eyes, gonna go back to the lashes. On my top lashes, I'm gonna use this Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. Just add a little drama to these babies, honey. And I'm going in with more of a generous amount because I do want to thicken the top lashes. Okay, and for my eyeliner, I'm gonna use this Ben Nye Cream Crayon and it's just like a nude shade. You can use any nude eyeliner. I'm just gonna run this bad boy in there like that. And for my bottom mascara, I'm gonna use this MAC Extended Play Mascara. And of course, to finish the look, we're just going to set it with a setting spray. I'm gonna go in with MAC Fix Plus. All right, and that pretty much completes this look. I feel good about it. I love how it all turned out. I'm really surprised with a lot of these products that I've used for the first time. First time using like the Tatcha oil, the lip products, and they performed so well. I absolutely love them. This is something that I think that you guys could recreate if you're gonna go to like a pool party, if you're gonna go to the beach, or if you're just gonna be out and about in the summertime. I will say, disclosure, you're definitely gonna wanna use a heavy duty setting spray according to like where you are. I'm obsessed with MAC Fix Plus, but if you need something a little bit more heavy duty, I definitely recommend the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Again, before you guys come for me, this is my version of something natural. I think that to some of you guys, this might not be 
supernatural but again i tried to kind of pull back with how defined i made things and i love the way that this looks i hope you guys love it let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this look if you guys recreate it make sure you guys are tagging me so that i can show you some love if you're not already make sure that you guys subscribe to my instagram and my snapchat and before you leave don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel i post new videos every week and yeah thank you guys for watching this video and i will see you guys next time Bye, guys.